Hi, I'm Robin Johnson. I founded Spring Farm Sanctuary a year ago. We went to high school together. We reconnected at a high school reunion. Got back together. Yes. And best day of your life. Yep, yeah. best day of my life. We have 27 acres here and we currently have 19 animals and we're almost at full capacity. Our mission is not saving as many animals as we possibly can, but it's the animals we have here, we want them to serve as ambassadors for others. These two young women had what they thought was a chicken in their basement apartment. As the chicken began to grow, they realized it wasn't a chicken, but it was a turkey. Goats have come to us from backyard butchers. Same with our pig Libby. She was advertised on Craigslist for a dollar. She was living in raw sewage. No food, no water anywhere on this guy's property. People come in, they can pet Libby, hear her story, see how beautiful and intelligent and emotional she is, and then seeing factory farms and photos of these, you know, same size animals in gestation crates and hearing the story about their lives. And that's what we hope to do is open people's eyes to it and encourage people to at least start with a meatless Monday. There was probably no one that ate more meat than myself. I don't eat any sort of meat products at all anymore. If I can do it, anyone can do it. One of the hardest things that people probably don't realize about running a sanctuary is how attached you come to the animals. Gruffy, our uh, herfer, we had to put down this winter it was probably one of the harder things I've had to do. They love you and hang out with you and follow you around and interact with you. He was, I would have to say, almost the best friend. It's a lot of work running a sanctuary, and but I, I remind myself every day, why am I doing this? And I know it's the right thing to do. I feel like my grandchildren, which I have one right now, she's gonna look back at her grandma and say, what a smart grandma I had. She was ahead of her time. And you know, hopefully that generation is gonna start not eating meat at all. That's what I hope for the future for my grandchild and for every other child.